one Ison and WTF NASA. Seriously, bro. Part 14. Comet plus star equals mass explosion. All right, at this point, you know we've gotten no data out of NASA whatsoever. Surprise, surprise, surprise. You know, I don't know. I guess they're watching the Zimmerman trial or they're making another parody video or something. They're probably real busy. Um, so first of all, I, we, we might as well consider uh, NASA kind of like the DMV, Department of Motor Vehicles of Astronomy now. Because all we do is we go there and, and we wait and we wait and we wait. And, and you know, at the DMV, you eventually get something. But um, in this waiting period, we, we may not get much. Like the chances of the global currency collapsing before Ison gets here are now at 50-50, baby. I've always tied the two in together for some weird reason. And it looks like my calculations are pretty correct. Anyway, um, one thing we're going to talk about in this fantastic video is I was watching uh, just something I noted. This is from uh, a couple months ago. NASA put out a video about a gamma ray burst on December 25th, 2010. It was so massive they couldn't explain it. So they came up with some theories. And at first, scientists proposed two theories. The first is a comet falling into a neutron star. Watch this. There goes the comet. Looks like a ghost. Into the neutron star. Boom! WTF? Wait, so when did comets falling into the star make stars explode? I mean, that's new info. And then over here we've got the neutron star falling into its yellow star, kind of like our star, you know? So, they get married, they fall in love, the two become one, and bam! Big old GRB. And then they came up with a third suggestion, and more likely option, is that the explosive death of a star hundreds of times our star's size and mass. Bigger than the entire orbit of Jupiter. It just exploded. Which is kind of crazy. So a comet falling into a star can create an effect just like a super massive super blue giant exploding? This is new data. How is a dirty snowball supposed to make a sun or a star explode? This is new information, man. So we can't go through any of the data NASA's given us because they haven't given us anything. You know, they're like super prude. Like they're on freaking information lockdown. They are acting like comma icing never even happened. You can tweet or Twitter, send emails all you want. Say, hey NASA, WTF the hell is going on with common ice because you guys hype this mofo up so much and, and they won't say nothing they're gonna say nothing they're gonna act like you're an idiot. They're gonna act like, what are you talking about? Comet Ison? Oh, I don't know. I don't know nothing, man. We're just NASA. We don't, we're not here for you. We're here for us. We're here for whatever we want to do. Which is cool, man. That's, that's really great. All right. Yeah, we got a bunch of theories on the internet. We got some people claiming that with the data they looked at, Ison is as big as the moon. We got another guy claiming Ison's half the size of Jupiter. If I still got to doom you out, still sounds like wormwood to me, man. Bring out your dead. That oh, shit is not funny. Yeah, hold on, I got the Queen of England on the phone. Hello, NASA, this is the Queen of England, and uh, it is time for you to give information on Ison to the people. I am a monarch, and I tell you what goes, and this is what goes. All right, so yeah, uh, so yeah, at this point, I'm still wondering, I got a lot of questions. One, how can they calculate the rebound orbit after it comes around the sun? Like, how can, how can they calculate it? I bet it's gonna be off by percentage. And B, I don't think it, it's gonna make it in the sun. I think it's just gonna dive straight in the sun, and then, and then the sun's gonna go, gonna go wacky. And you guys put up some grand asteroid challenge to have us help you nasa find dangerous potentially hazardous asteroids to earth well me and reed richards who is suspicious observers who i promised him i wouldn't name again but i just did i broke my own rule for this subject we both advised that if you have some giant comet blowing through with like a 400,000 mile tail and coma through the asteroid belt it's gonna disrupt everything man it's like it's just gonna bug shiz oop up up day shit i forgot my big line so you need to turn a uh, uh, camera on it. And you need to start talking, people. Okay. All right. Hey, now we are going to look at Lou over at Universe Today. They've got them some fancy astronomer and are going to ask him what he thinks. I'm going to break it down for you real quick. He says he doesn't know. Okay, great. Nobody knows nothing except NASA and they ain't talking. Okay, a little bit of reading. Comets are the big question marks of observational astronomy. Well, no duh, man, especially when we can't observe it. Comets do seem a bit strange in that NASA saying, oh my God, they're just dirty snowballs. It really don't make sense to me. Like, okay, why? How come comets get covered in the ice and the stuff that causes them to out out gas and create these big bright beautiful displays but asteroids which i would think get as cold as comets don't ever do that how come asteroids i mean some asteroids go near the sun right so what is it what makes a comet a comet and an asteroid an asteroid what is the major difference i still think comets are like seeds anyway i got i got no no information to back that shit up and once again i want to remind you we are losing we are currently losing comet ice and behind the sun as it crosses through the constellation gemini and will not return to morning skies until late august so yeah we are sol that means shit out of luck kids 
I'm sorry, I shouldn't be saying the word shit, but that's basically what NASA has been giving us. There's no other term to describe it. NASA has given us shit for like four months. Congrats, NASA. I know Barack Obama's probably saying, don't give those jerks nothing they want. From, from October on, things should get really interesting. Well, no duh. But here's my favorite quote. Knowing that we aren't going to get to see anything about it till maybe September this is what Universe Today says. What this sort of lag might do to the internet pundits and prognosticators might be equally interesting to watch. Well, Universe Today, I'm glad you guys are fans of mine. Anyway, uh, but it's obvious that the professional astronomers and everybody's like laughing at us, which is fine. Laughter's medicine. I don't care if you're laughing with me or laughing at me. I made you laugh, man. And I'm pretty sure you didn't make me laugh. It's hard to make me laugh. Anyway. So, nickety nat, get it back. All right. Thor News presents Comet C-2012-S1 Ison and WTF NASA. Seriously, bro. Part 14. Comet plus star equals mass explosion. All right, at this point, you know we've got no data out of NASA whatsoever. Surprise, surprise, surprise. You know, I don't know. I guess they're watching the Zimmerman trial or they're making another parody video or something. They're probably real busy. Um, so first of all, I, we, we might as well consider uh, NASA kind of like the DMV, Department of Motor Vehicles of Astronomy now. Because all we do is we go there and, and we wait and we wait and we wait and, and you know, the DMV, you eventually get something, but um, in this waiting period, we, we may not get much. Like, the chances of the global currency collapsing before Ison gets here are now 50-50, baby. I've always tied the two in together for some weird reason, and it looks like my calculation.